Hello friends, this video on adolescence part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now coming back to sexually transmitted diseases. So as I said, a couple of diseases get transmitted from one person to another by sexual contact or while having sexual intercourse. Now what happens during sexual intercourse? Now as I said, during the process of sexual intercourse, the penis of the male will be in contact with the vagina of the female because that is how the sperm will reach inside the female body. The sperms will be released from the penis and it will be released into the vaginal space. And from there, the sperm will go further to meet the ovum. So that is how the process of reproduction take place. Now during the sexual intercourse when the penis and the vagina are in contact with each other there are chances that the, these kind of diseases might get transmitted. Now some of the common examples of sexually transmitted diseases are very deadly. For example AIDS is one such disease which is transmitted uh, sexual by sexual contact and it is a deadly disease. Gonorrhea, syphilis, HIV, AIDS, genital and anal warts, these are some of the sexually transmitted disease. Now if you talk about this disease, it is extremely deadly because no effective complete cure has been uh, found till now. And the worst part is that it is caused by a virus. But in this disease, the immune system of the body gets affected and immune system is like uh, the shoulder of our body. So it protects our body against all types of infection. But, but when the immune system itself gets uh, attacked then there is nobody who can protect our body from small small infection so as a result the even a small infection catches your body and the person sometimes even dies so it is very important that these kind of sexually transmitted diseases should be prevented now how can such diseases can be prevented avoid sexual intercourse during adolescence because during adolescence there are already so many changes taking place inside your body because you are going to enter into a new phase of your life you are no more into your childhood you are no more into the juvenile phase so now give some time to your body so that your reproductive tissues can grow in a proper way give some time to yourself so that your mental maturity also reaches at a right level where you know what is right and what is not where you have sufficient information about the various uh, processes of reproduction so it is always good to avoid having sexual intercourse during adolescence because uh, teenagers do not have good knowledge about the good and the bad effects of this entire process and that's why they often enter into a situation of trouble. Avoid sex with multiple partners even when people start having sexual intercourse they should never have it with multiple partners because more the number of partners more is the risk of STDs because you will never know who is suffering from what. It is very important to use physical barriers like condoms so that your so that the penis and the vagina do not come in direct contact with each other and that is how the transmission can be avoided. So this is how a cordob would look like. So this can cover the penis so that it doesn't come in direct contact with the vagina. Wash before and after intercourse. So after having sexual contact, before that and after that, the area, the genital area should be washed properly to prevent any kind of infection. Complete treatment post diagnosis of STDs. Now in case if somebody is diagnosed with STD, sometimes people think that what will others think is that I am suffering from this disease. So they should not think like that. Instead, they should start their treatment as early as possible because anyways, treating it completely is tough. But at least if the treatment starts at an early stage, there are chances that the survival time can be increased. Now, first of all, since we are since you are all into your adolescence right now and we have spoken so much about adolescence so the first point has to be completely remembered always that this is something which is the most important prevention for sexually transmitted diseases now Based on whatever we have discussed so far, it is very important that personal hygiene should be maintained. Take baths regularly so that you can clean your body and different parts of your body properly. 
girls should specially take care of cleanliness during menstrual flow because during the the process of menstruation for four to five days there is continuous bleeding from the vagina so that area becomes more prone to infections so it is very important to maintain cleanliness so cleanliness is something which helps you which helps your community and which helps the entire earth so when we were talking about pollution there also we were talking about maintaining cleanliness so whenever cleanliness comes into picture it is about your body it is also about your house it is about your community and your country and the entire planet as well so please maintain cleanliness in all aspects Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.